Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here, welcome back to another Blue Archive video. So let's talk about leveling up and also stamina. I'm sure this is something that I've been asked plenty of times. Uh, if you guys are not aware right now, this particular week, we have triple drops going on. All right, so this is going to be very, very important. Triple drops going on in normal, triple drops going on in hard. And of course, this is not something that's permanent, right? So you got to take the opportunity, take the chance to make sure to farm your stamina or to farm the items efficiently. All right, so normal and hard both are going to drop uh, their own specific things. And of course, alongside with that, which is something that's a big struggle for a lot of people because uh, you want to decide where should you farm, right? Should you be farming the, the event? Because event is going to give you plenty of things to buy from the shop, right? From the event shop. You got to farm for this currency as per follows. So it's always going to be a struggle. If you're a new player coming into this game, should you be farming the the event should you be farming for the double drops or should you farm specifically for the welfare character of the event in this case swimsuit koharu right because she's like unique to this particular event you get her as a reward so the more you play the mini game of the event you will be able to farm uh, her shards all right which is something that uh you know players are very very concerned about so let's talk about all of these things and also how do you want to manage your stamina efficiently as a new player uh, to help you guys to level up fast now before we proceed Today's video is sponsored by Blue Stanks. Now this is something that I get asked a lot. What am I playing Blue Archive on? I am playing Blue Archive on Blue Stacks. So this is my current Blue Stacks version, as you can see, uh, 5.13.200. So Blue Stacks is currently running a special Valentine's event giveaway with a chance to basically win up to thirty thousand dollars worth of prizes. Now let's talk about the Blue Stacks Valentine prizes. How do you try to win this? Uh, very simple. You can basically just Download BlueStacks, log in, and then you have the access to the play to win feature at the top right. You can basically just try to play the game that's featured right there. Try to claim the tickets and that's going to give you a chance to win one of the wonderful prizes that's shown right now on the screen. So feel free to try it out. BlueStacks, you never know, maybe you'll win something. Alright, let's jump back into the video. Now first things first, let's talk about how to level up fast. This is going to be something that is very, very simple, very straightforward. Now why is this important? Leveling up fast is going to be very, very important for new player because your account level, which is uh, right here, you can see my account level, I'm level 87. So being level 87, which is currently the max. Now keep in mind, Blue Archive do increase the, the max level once every few months. Like for JP server right now, it's like level 89 or is it level 90? But you can see right now, 87. That means I have the ability to level up all my students up to level 87. All right. So if your account is only level 70, for example, that means your students can only level up to level 70. So obviously, the scaling do matter. So you want to be able to have strong students, level them up. Uh, that's going to be something that's very, very important. Now, how do you do it efficiently? Now, early on, it's all about using stamina all right so there's just no secret to it the more stamina you consume the more you are able to do this more efficiently now as you can see right now we do have the times three drop for this particular stage now every time you consume this stage or you try to sweep any of the stages you will be able to push past your level up progress bar all right so uh, obviously mine is already max so you can't really see it but usually you know if you are not max yet you will see every time you sweep any single stage doesn't matter if it's normal hard or during the event any stage that can be sweeped will basically give you the exp with the exception of the bounty stages right because those are going to use tickets right bounty stages the scrimmage stages those that use their own tickets should, those are not going to contribute to your account exp but any stages that consume stamina will be able to give you exp account early on your objective is to push in story as far as you can now this is going to be the most important right the normal story especially that's going to be the most important now obviously you're going to start off with chapter one and then you push forward uh, chapter two chapter three chapter four chapter five chapter six chapter seven chapter eight chapter nine all right you're going to push forward with all of this now why is this important because this is tied to the level up of your cafeteria so let's jump into there so your cafe is going to be the most important place for you to regenerate as much energy or stamina as possible so let's look at this particular thing right here Notice there's this thing called available to claim. This is going to be the cafe earnings of how much stamina you get. 
All right. You're going to generate two things. Number one is your energy, your stamina. Number two is going to be your credits. So I can claim them as follows. But before I claim them, I just want to show you guys. All right. The cafe rank is going to give you more stamina production every time you level them up. All right. This is going to be very, very important. Now you're going to need this particular currency right here, as you can see, to basically upgrade your ca cafe facility core. And these are all locked behind the progress in the story. Now rank 1 is going to be locked within normal 2-1. Alright, normal. And then rank 2 is going to be locked 3-5. All the way until uh, rank 9 at 24-5. Which I believe global still does not have access to yet. If you look at global server, we only have access up to 23 I believe. Yep, so only up to 23. So that's going to be something that we'll have to wait eventually. So 24.5, uh, 24-5 uh, is going to be something that uh, JP has, but Global is yet to access. So every single stage, if you beat these normal stages up to, you want to try to, for now, try to push to at least 21-5, level up your cafe so that you can regenerate more stamina in return when having more stamina that means you can sweep more stages and when you can sweep more stages that means you're going to level up faster so it's just something that goes on in proportion so that's how you want to level up fast in blue archive there's just no secret you ideally want to use your stamina and sweep stages get exp that's just how it is there's also the conversation of players talking about refreshing using pyroxenes now what is this refreshing using pyroxenes all about Obviously, it's really really tough because you gotta decide should you farm the event stage, should you farm the shot, should you farm the 2x normal drops or 3x normal drops in this case. Your stamina is going to be limited. Now obviously, with that comes the refresh. Now what is this refresh all about? You basically can spend pyroxenes to purchase AP. Now you can see 30 pyroxenes is going to give you 120 AP. Obviously, you can buy this up to 3 times. Uh, it's going to cost 30 pyroxenes each for 120 AP and then after 3 times it increased to 60 pyroxenes for 120 AP and then 3 times you can buy that 3 times and then after that it increased to 90 for 3 times and then it increased to 120 for 3 times and then 150 if I'm not mistaken and then it gets to 200 which is going to be very very expensive if you are like just going all in just buying a bunch of uh, stamina you can do that if you are a paying player, that is going to be a super fast way for you to level up fast. If you are willing to spend on the game, obviously, that is going to be, I would say, a pretty viable method, right? However, for most free-to-play players out there, this is not going to be super viable. If you are a low spender, you could consider doing 3 times, alright? So 30 pyroxenes, remember after 3 times, it's going to increase to 60. Uh, the first 3 times, I would say... Yeah, you could consider it, especially right now, during the times 3 event. Definitely triple drops is going to give you plenty of gears. Now, the truth is, I know most players prefer to pull for the characters that they want, save for the upcoming characters, which I do totally understand. However, gears are also going to be important, especially if you're trying to tackle some of the end game contents. You want to be able to push your character uh, in terms of their level, in terms of their skills, and also in terms of their gears. You don't want them to have like... T3 gears, all right. Uh, you ideally, for most standard, I would say right now we have T8 already. You got to push at, to at least T7 to T8. Uh, that's going to make it much more easier for you to do a lot of end game contents. And in most cases, if you can reach the top in the in the rates, you are able to make that back in the investment, right? Especially if you are able to tackle the higher difficulty rates. Now, as you can see, I do have quite a number of characters already at T8 currently, all right? So especially the important ones, the core ones. The final question then, what should I be farming now? I'm a new player. Should I farm the event stages? Should I farm the shards? Or should I farm the 3x normal drops? Okay, so let's talk a about a couple of things. Most of you guys are probably in different points of the game as I am. I'm a veteran player. I've been playing since day one. So for me, I can afford to to not farm the event stage as much. I can probably elevate to try to push uh, in my gears. But some of you guys, I can see this is going to be a big struggle. Now, if you are new, I would highly recommend going all in on these shops because all of these materials here are going to be more important, especially these particular books because you're going to need plenty of skill books to level up your characters. Now, these three items right here, the these are the gifts that you can give to your students uh, in cafe to increase their affinity. Definitely, those are going to be also quite important, but I would say the skill books are going to be the most important. And then uh, the cafeteria item, I think this is depends, right? This is just uh, for decoration. 
you could probably skip this if you don't care about it as much but ideally these things are really hard to get so i would say just buy them now as for this level up materials this should have lesser priority than these ones because this one you can farm whereas for the skill up books the trinity books for trinity students you will need plenty of this so obviously this should be a priority same applies right here for the blue rays as well this one is going to be much more important now when you look at the advanced enhancement stone and the advanced activity reports the activity reports are going to be used to level up your characters and the and enhancement stones are going to be used to level up your gears now these things it is pretty important but it shouldn't be your top priority right because you can actually buy them every single day you can see right here if you have plenty of credits like me once you reach uh, later in the in the end game you can literally buy them every single day so i can just come here and do this boom 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 all right i can buy plenty of this every single day you know this is some this the shop resets daily so it's not as scarce compared to those skill books so always prioritize those definitely those are going to be more important now what about gears right so uh regarding gears some of you guys are probably still early on in the game and i i get that right so if you are early on in the game you might be running out into into the earlier t2 t3 or t4 equipments so let's see if i can show you guys a little bit i'm going to try to see if i can use some examples right here so i think my uh tier squad hibiki is a good example right here so you can see i have one equipment uh right here at t1 so there's this thing that i don't have so this thing is going to be the hairpin scrunchy so ideally some of you guys might go and use your stamina to farm those things but i don't really recommend it so right here you can see they do tell you you can farm in either 5-3 5-2 5-1 so for most of these gears especially the lower tier ones you should not farm them but you should try to buy them from this shop right here if you go right here you know there's this expert permit that you can basically buy using this currency now again i'm a veteran player this is what i do if you are new i can see this might not be an extremely viable advice because you might need some of these characters here because you can also use expert permit to buy plenty of the characters here uh, the shards right but do keep in mind if you do not own the characters buying the shot is not going to help you with with claiming them all right uh, let me give you an example Let, let's look at this uh, bunny nero right you can see notice here i have 120 of her shots but if i come here to the students she's not right here you can never claim her because she's a limited student so for limited students you can never you know even if you get a lot of the shots you can never claim them so those are limited students it's just more for for you to use to upgrade your students from 3 star to 4 star to 5 star and then get it up to UE30, UE50 so something that I think a lot of players are not aware of right so I, I just figured I'll put that in there so like I mentioned for this particular one you know you can see if you scroll all the way down you can actually buy the equipment alright it's like a selector for T2, T3, T4, T5 and T6 now T7 and T8 are not here for the time being I believe they will be added e eventually but for now they are not here in the uh, choice tickets so those are the ones that I'll recommend for you to go for but then again if you are new you're pro you probably can't farm the higher stages yet which gives uh, T7 and T8 equipments so I can see that's going to be um, a little bit of a weird advice but you can see I can just buy this T2 alright so one of these is going to give 15 I can buy two of that which will give me a 30 of this and that's going to be a selector this is going to be a selector I can choose if I come back to my uh, Hibiki Chiro Squad I can click on this I can click on this so now you can see I have an option selectable item I can click on that and then you know I can choose I need I'm going to need like some of that I can just you know claim 30 of that because I did purchase two different sets of equipments boom and you can see now i have enough to level this up to level two uh from t1 to t2 right so easy just like that and then uh, you can do the same for t3 t4 t5 right so you're just gonna need to to use your expert permit now again i understand that if you are new and you're trying to get plenty of characters from here your expert permit ticket is going to be extremely extremely valuable for sure so make sure you guys think carefully all right this is something that you have to decide for yourself on your own account it's hard for me to give you advice because uh you might not be in the same position as i am like maybe some of you guys just started and you're looking to get some of these characters like you just pull mika you want to get plenty of her shards uh, i understand that for sure or maybe you're looking to build nonomi all right so you're trying to get multiple of her shards and this is are going to be very expensive right 
So you won't have any spare in terms of getting some of these equipment blueprint choices, which I can understand. In that case, then you should be farming it on the regular stages. And shards, I'm talking about the hard stages. Now, plenty of you guys probably know by now that a lot of these characters are really, really good. Now, the prominent important ones are Hibiki, as you can see at 22-3 hard, right? And then, uh, you know, Yori, also really, really strong, solid character. You got to get her, man. But she's all the way at 20-3 hard. If you're new, you probably are not able to reach there yet, all right? Uh, Izuna is also going to be very, very important if you can get her. Aru, got to get her, all right? You got to get her. And then uh, there's plenty of other characters like Chise uh, and Karin, right? These are going to be the important ones. Uh, Hina, I, would, I wouldn't say you need to get her because she is kind of replaceable. Mutsuki is a, a way better character in my humble opinion. So um, if you guys want, let me know. I can probably make like a, a priority of characters that you should farm. Uh, but ideally, some of these characters, you want to try to see if you can push them up to as high rarity as you can. Oh, I didn't know Yori you can farm in two different hard stages, 14-3 as well. So you want to prioritize in doing those. Uh, right now, you can see for, for today, we don't really have the hard event stage. But it will definitely come back on uh, 16 uh, till 19. So that's something that you want to consider farming. So for now, definitely take advantage of, always take advantage of the trip double drops or triple drops in Blue Archive because that's going to happen extremely often. That's where you want to like capitalize on the chance to get more gears or more shards in general. It's still RNG, you can still get zero shards even if it's triple, right? Zero times three is still zero, but it increases your chance for sure if you're trying to get some of the meta characters. Now, last but not least, should you farm for the welfare character? All right, this is something that's going to happen very, very often. Um, so let's talk about this. So far, based on my experience playing Blue Archive, a lot of the welfare characters, just some of them are really strong, like insanely strong. All right. So in the current event, this particular swimsuit event, if you farm the mini game right here, right, you can see I go to the mini game. I can basically. Uh, keep farming for the event points. I can come here and do this uh, area sweep. This is going to consume some of these uh, event points. But you can see it's going to give me 5 Swimsuit Koharu's LF. Now, what is this uh, LF for, right? This is going to be used for me to, of course, try to get her up to uh, 1 star, 2 star, 3 star, 4 star, 5 star. Now, for Koharu, fortunately, she's not extremely meta. She's pretty strong. She's actually quite decent for a lot of new players. Right? But especially for as many of these characters, you want to try to get as many shards as you can to basically get the, their stars as high as you can, right? Uh, especially the strong ones. Now for Shinsu Koharu, she's not extremely meta. If you have Chise and a few other options, she does compete with some other characters for sure, right? But I would say, you know, I, I did manage to get her up to 3 star. If you get her up to 3 star, at least you are unlocking all of these skills. And this is going to be very, very important to be able to help you out. Now some of you guys might ask me, Oh, why do I need to farm for that? Because I can basically just go to the Eligma shop, right? And use my Eligma to, to buy her shards. Yes, you can. But ideally, there's going to be so many characters here that you want to focus on. It's really, really hard, uh, especially for if you can get certain characters. They are farmable. Like, for example, you shouldn't want... You don't want to come here, for example, to try to buy Izuna's LF. Because you know that she's available in the hard stage, same applies for Yori, alright? And same applies for Aru as well, which is what, uh, ideally, you want to be more efficient. You want to obtain LF for students that you can never farm in the hard stages, or you can never farm in the event stages. So ideally, that's going to be what makes sense, right? To be more efficient with your stamina and your currency. Now, so far, the only uh, the only welfare character that's like super meta that I would say that's like super strong and pretty much competes with the top tier character is going to be Swimsuit Shizuko. And she is going to come really, really soon. Uh, please watch out for her because uh, if you miss her again, man, that's going to suck for sure. Uh, Swimsuit Shizuko is going to be a very prominent character. As far as I know, her rerun is coming really, really soon. So stay tuned for that. Uh, maybe like next month, I think, right? Uh, I do think that she is going to be uh, the more important ones. Uh, far way more uh, important compared to Shinsuke Koharu. Now, uh, during the event, if you can, try to get her up to 3 star. That's going to be the important one. Uh, again, I think I've done a video of talking about all the welfare characters before. So basically, you guys can look it up on my channel. Especially, you know, if you can get up to some of these uh, unique equipment as well. Where you can improve some of their, you know, terrain and stuff. 
it's gonna be very very cool so yeah that pretty much summarizes what you should be doing in blue archive or how you should be spending your stamina again take all this information with a grain of salt as in like try to decide and think for yourself which is going to be the priority for you right uh i'm just here to give you guys an idea because at the end of the day most of you guys are probably like at different points of the game where some of the things might not be uh, applicable to you so you gotta like look at your own account and decide carefully based upon what would be the best for you to farm at that particular moment so yeah hopefully uh you know if you guys have any questions feel free you know ask in the comment section below or you can just come to my discord should be right there in the description as always subscribe give this video a like and yeah big shout out to blue stacks for sponsoring today's video you can check the link out in the pinned comment as well with that being said have a nice day goodbye <laughs>